hey everybody welcome back to the channel oh man it is june 29th today i just got back in town from going to charlotte for a conference for work so i'm playing catch up here in the garden just so you know we have had three tenths of an inch of rain in 24 days the garden and everything's drying up it is nuts i mean it's powder out here we're trying to water as much as we can with what we can but you know we don't have water on available at all of our gardens so this is the potato and tomato garden mainly you can see back here behind me what we're doing right now is we're bucket watering these because there is no spigot anywhere around here no way to irrigate well i'll go over here and show you real quick where we get our water from is a stream back over here about a hundred yards about a hundred yards over this way and it's bone dry so there's a stream back over there and it is bone dry so what I'm having to do is I'm having to carry these water jugs right there across the road back over there over into the neighbor's field and I am filling them up in his stream and carrying over here and then just bucket you know cup watering as much as I can my dad is over in the other garden over there the pumpkin garden ow I'm getting bit by flies the pumpkin garden one of the pumpkin gardens we got pumpkin and okra over there he's over there talking to a neighbor right now so I won't go over there he's been watering with bucket and a little watering can and so he's gotten everything in pretty good shape over there We've got another pumpkin garden up on the hill across the stream, and it's quite a bit of an elevation gain. It's just pumpkin. There's Taryn. It's pumpkins and one row of potatoes, and they're doing terrible. They're just awful. They're terrible. And then we've got another garden at the top of the ridge back up here behind me across the stream. I'm not going to go all the way over there. It's too hot. It's too. I mean, I'm just miserable out here right now. Even though the sun's going down, the biting flies are all over me. Um, it has potatoes, pumpkins, and kushaw squash in it. Potatoes are doing okay. The pumpkins are coming up. Something's coming through, eating them off. Probably a groundhog, if I was guessing. So the pumpkins and squash up there are not doing any good either. But I, I'll try to stop by the bean garden here in a little bit and give you a clip of that. Taryn's still over here wandering around. Um, try to stop by and give you a clip of the bean garden. It's just starting to shrivel up. Everything's turning yellow. I mean, this is nuts. We got, we've got we got one day of rain in the past 24 days. And it dropped those measly three-tenths of an inch. But yet, half a mile down the road, you know, they got, they got dumped on this morning. I mean, they got probably a half an inch this morning. And it's been that way so far all, all summer. Um, we're just missing it. But... Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here, get up here to the other gardens, get some more stuff done, see whatever else I can get watered. The blackberries, I did a quick check of blackberries earlier, and they are really suffering. I mean, they are really suffering from the lack of rain. They're just shriveling up, turning into little raisins on the, on the cane. It's, if we don't get rain very, very, very soon, and a significant amount of rain, this summer is going to be a flop as far as the garden as far as the berries all of our apples on the apple on the june apple tree they've all dried up and died and fell off the apple tree it's that dry it's that hot it's that frustratingly god it's just i don't know what you say you're just you're so frustrating this summer with seeing all this happen you put in so much work and time and effort and energy to do this to sustain yourself with your food all year long and this happens i mean we're not set up to irrigate thousands of feet of garden that's just not and it doesn't help with the stream totally drying up i mean this was our water source and it's totally dried up it's just a totally dry stream bed now i don't know do you have something you're needing to say okay what do you need to say go ahead Taryn was over there looking at me like she needed to say, uh oh, groundhogs have been getting into the p uh, potatoes here. I'm starting to see where they've been nibbling on the potatoes. So let's just go down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, let me see. Anyway, 
<sighs> Groundhogs nibbling on the tops of the potato plants. Oh well, not a very inspiring garden walkthrough. I'm sorry, but that's just the reality of what we're going through right now. It is, it's frustrating, it's disappointing, it's saddening, you know. And part of me wants to say, had I not been out of town for work, could I have done something about it? But in the grand scheme of things, me being gone for four days and leaving it to Amy and the kids or my dad to keep things watered didn't it didn't it didn't hurt anything. It didn't help anything. Um, this this is a result of 24 days of no rain, and me trickle watering for the last four days wouldn't have made any difference. So. All right, well, I may see you at the bean garden. I may be too agitated and frustrated to even go down there and show you. So, if I don't, then I'll catch you next video. Have a, have a good day.